the CRSU of Sherbrooke is actually the fourth largest uh, research centre in uh, the province of Quebec. It, uh, it uh, includes uh, 220 researchers and has six research axes. One of them is the one on diabetes, obesity and cardiovascular complications that I, I lead. The CRSU of Sherbrooke is quite unique because it has developed throughout its uh, history uh, directly at the center of the academic hospital uh, of the Faculty of Medicine of the uh, University of Sherbrooke. So it's really closely knit with uh, the healthcare system on the one hand and also the academic system and university on the other. So it's all on the same campus. So we're really lucky to have uh, facilities uh, that are at the top level uh, worldwide uh, in uh, molecular imaging. Everybody knows that uh, uh, there is a link between lifestyle, the food we eat or some food we eat and the development of diabetes. Every, everybody knows that. Uh, what we don't know are actually the, the mechanisms. We, don't still, we still don't understand how, for example, fatty foods are linked to the development of diabetes and its other complications. We don't know the intricate mechanisms. We're experts in endocrine disorders associated with diabetes and its complication. And we're also investigating how fat tissues white and brown are associated with the development of type 2 diabetes and its complications like cardiac complications. We're developing new tools directly applicable in humans to investigate these intricate links uh, uh, between uh, how uh, fat tissues handle uh, the fat that we eat uh, uh, and, uh, and organ complications. I have a transnational uh, research program with uh, studies in uh, humans as well as uh, studies with uh, animal model and uh, cellular culture. Uh, for my research, clinical research uh, program, uh, I have uh, studies in uh, infertility in both men and women, looking at the role of obesity, and also I'm uh, uh, collaborating to studies uh, in uh, gestational diabetes. We know that uh, preconception obesity as well as uh, uh, increased gestational weight gain uh, in uh, pregnant woman is associated with complication uh, during the pregnancy as well for the uh, uh, newborn. And also we know that there is uh, uh, epigenetic modification and uh, pre-programming of, of the fetus that can cause uh, long-term complication such as uh, obesity, diabetes and cardiovascular complication in the offspring uh, later in the, during their life. My work is mainly on developing interventions, uh, but also studying their effect, uh, their metabolic effects. But also uh, one of the main focus of my team is to do health services researchers. We are trying to develop, implement, and study the effect of new models of care that uh, combine the old care continuum from the community health centers to primary care, specialized services like those that we provide here at uh, the Sherbrooke University Hospital. One of our interests is to really bind together uh, evidence-based medicine, but also something that can be applied in the healthcare system. And in the area of cardiometabolic chronic disease, we know that some risk factors uh, are also uh, targets for intervention, like uh, uh, diet and physical activity and uh, smoking cessation, for example. The test that we, we saw today uh, is uh, osteodensitometry. Uh, when we do develop some interventions to help people with obesity, uh, then we can better uh, study the effects of the intervention on their body composition because as we know, it's not only the weight on the scale, but mostly where the fat is located that is linked to cardiovascular risk factors. My work is basically focusing on vascular complication of diabetes. We know that those complications are really um, detrimental for uh, the diabetic population. So we're trying to identify new mechanisms, new targets, uh, eventually new drug to the market to prevent uh, 
uh, or stop, even stop the uh, complication of, of diabetes. Those particular vascular complication, which is basically affecting the eye, the kidney, peripheral limb, and also uh, the heart. So my laboratory is uh, mainly focusing on uh, finding new mechanisms for uh, preventing and also stopping, even reversing vascular complication of diabetes. So the new mechanism that we're, we're focusing on is basically looking at the targets that are affecting the protecting factors that are reduced or even block in vascular complication of diabetes. We have really a new exciting protein that we're, we're looking at. It's, a, it's called SHP1. This protein is really exciting because it targets multiple protecting factors. So because that protein is increased and targets those multiple protecting factors, make that protein very exciting and attractive as a potential target for vascular complication of diabetes. When we're, when we're using some animal models that really um, decrease or even remove that protein specifically in some cells, we can prevent, obviously that's great, preventing complication, but we have some evidence that if we decrease or remove that protein, we can reverse kidney complication uh, induced by diabetes. So that's very exciting. We have uh, developed this facility together with the research facility. So we have healthcare facilities together with research facilities working hand-in-hand hand, uh, for the benefit of the population.